may have heard that starting July 2023, all new desktop SolidWorks licenses come with cloud services. If this is news to you, or you haven't heard of 3D Experience or 3D Experience Cloud Services, check out my favorite website, gsc-3d.com, to get up to speed on these changes. But the ultra-abridged version is cloud services is what gets you into the 3D Experience Cloud platform, connects it to SolidWorks, and in turn, your product data. Now, this is really just a small subset of all the capabilities that can be had in what's called the 3D Experience Works portfolio. But when you see what all can be done with it once it's connected to your SolidWorks CAD, it's actually pretty impressive. I can understand why some might say, why am I getting something I didn't ask for? Well, here at GSC, we've been busy working with customers who came to us looking for solutions and found 3D Experience to be the perfect fit. But your product data is unique, and as an end-to-end -end solution, 3D Experience may not be perfect for everyone. But there is something for everyone on the platform. So from here, we need to switch our focus from what's happening with this change to why it's a good thing and how to use it in our favor. We talk about silos, data silos, a lot. It's a long-standing metaphor that serves its purpose. But we don't talk about the fact that not all data silos are built the same. For example, the classic mental image of a silo is a cylinder, right? Or in SolidWorks speak, an extruded circle. And yes, having your product data spread across several of these is bad enough. Maybe this one is for CAD data, but the silo next to it is actually an extruded square, which is formatted to accept data cubes. Maybe it's project data in this one. Well, we want to democratize this data for universal access to support a distributed workforce to make faster decisions that are data-driven rather than trial and error, or for a number of other really good reasons. To do this, we'll need to put the CAD data into the project data silo or vice versa. While this sphere of CAD data fit perfectly into its own silo, you're going to have a really bad time trying to integrate it with data in the other silo. With this in mind, SolidWorks has provided you with a single, scalable ecosphere that contains all your product data and it accepts and syncs info from every discipline and stakeholder involved in your product's life cycle. Kind of like a Tesla ball connects charged particles between your fingers and an electrode, 3D Experience sends data updates between your app, users, and your data hub in the cloud. It all speaks the same language. It's, it's all CAD aware and it's all ready for you to access from your browser anywhere in the world. And the info inside can be securely locked down, but it can also be selectively shared with collaborators and contributors, both internal and external to your organization, whether or not they're SolidWorks users. The value you get from it is completely determined by what you choose to do with it. Obviously, the more features and people you involve, the more effective it is. But at the very least, since we know you have SolidWorks designs, if you upload them to 3D Experience, you'll have at your disposal a tool to share your designs with anyone that has an email address, even non-CAD users, so they can interrogate them in a universal viewer, compare them, mark them up, and send them back. When it comes back to you, the design review data is still linked to your actual SolidWorks design, so you can break the correspondence down at the component level. And once you choose to start saving your designs to the 3D Experience platform, as opposed to leaving it all in network folders, your entire data set will be poised for a pretty significant upgrade. Getting your data in the cloud is a good idea for the same reason cloud storage exists. It stays safe and secure without the need for file servers, hardware setup, maintenance, upgrades, and you won't need a VPN connection to access it remotely. But the most interesting and valuable part is, unlike Windows File Explorer, it's CAD aware. It handles revision control, relations management, file history, lifecycle processes, and a bookmarking structure that is way more feature rich than what you have in Windows alone. To keep progress and collaboration moving along, 
users can assign and complete tasks using a simple Kanban style board, which notifies participants as things progress. And you can access these features from a 3D experience add-in for SOLIDWORKS, so you can take advantage of the data management tools without leaving your CAD environment. Even after mastering these tools, cloud services still has more to offer. Issue management, change actions, approval routing, it's really pretty surprising to see how these tools can simplify complex business processes, yet remain flexible enough to manage unique use case scenarios or changes to your everyday workflows. Another example of how 3D Experience keeps things simple and flexible, even while using some pretty powerful features, is in the way you use 3D Swim communities and conversations. This is the place to provide, request, and gather data get real-time feedback, and have it all tracked publicly or privately for posterity in a familiar social media-like interface. Users can subscribe to content they find useful, stay looped in to any new developments. Community posts can be as informal or as structured as you like with dedicated tools for things like ideation, knowledge base creation, and assignable task lists. They can even include 3D content and like most things in 3D Experience Works, it can run on just about anything with a web browser, whether it's your Windows laptop or a mobile device running iOS and Android. So cloud services can do a lot. If it sounds like too much, you can start small. In fact, we recommend that. The platform is designed to scale with you as you begin to formulate new approaches to how you want to conduct your business and as your appetite for more features increases. Either way, it's still a pretty big toolbox. Fortunately, our friends at 3D Experience have given us a way to make it all manageable. Users can create shareable dashboards and add tabs to each one to organize tools and data. You also have a welcome dashboard out of the box, providing easy access to educational content that flattens the learning curve and gets users acclimated pretty quickly. Tools can be pinned as widgets to adjustable zones at each dashboard tab and can be configured and reconfigured as many times as needed. It's extremely flexible. Just about anything can be widgetized, like community feeds, assigned tasks, or markup tools. You can even pin saved searches to run advanced queries and return live results in one step which is another huge level up from Windows Search. Cloud services can be treated as a springboard into a nearly limitless system of operations, but even on its own, it's quite powerful, and I highly recommend we all make use of it wherever possible. If you have questions, need help getting started, or want us to get you started, please reach out, and we'll get you the answers you need. Thanks.